Welcome to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. I'm Luigi Pontana, professor of medicine and the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic of the University of Sydney. Today, I would like to discuss with you the results of a very interesting study published in the British Medical Journal in 2023 about the role of lifestyle in the prevention of memory loss and dementia. Dementia is on the rise worldwide. Recent data just published in the Lancet Public Health show that the number of men and women aged 40 years and older living with dementia worldwide is expected to nearly triple, triple from an estimated 57 million in 2019 to 53 million in 2050. This is a huge problem. The good news is that accumulating data show that our lifestyle, basically what we eat, do and think, is extremely important in preventing dementia and memory loss, especially if we start from an early age and prevent the accumulation of metabolic and molecular damage of the brain. Interestingly, data from this large epidemiological study, uh, <clears throat> as I said, just published in the BMJ, including more than 29,000 29, older men and women followed for 10 years, strongly suggests that adherence to a healthy lifestyle is associated with a slower rate of memory decline. Consuming a healthy diet in this study had the strongest association with memory preservation. So number one factor, consuming a healthy diet. Lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains and beans and fish. Followed by active cognitive training. The second most important is active cognitive training. For example, writing, reading, playing cards and other games, painting, sculptures. The third one is regular physical exercise. In this study it was defined as more than 150 minutes of moderate intensity or more than 75 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise per week, every week. The, th the fourth is active social contact. For example, participating in meetings, engaging with friends and relatives, traveling, and then finally, never or previously smoked, smoking, so no smoking, and never drinking. So these are extremely important factors for the prevention of memory loss. And although each lifestyle factor contributed differently to slowing memory decline, the findings show that people who maintain more healthy lifestyle factors had a significantly slower memory decline than those with fewer healthy lifestyle factors. Moreover, another striking, striking result of this study is that the beneficial effect of a healthy lifestyle on memory was observed in both carriers of the APOE4 and non-carriers. It is well known that APOE4 allele is correlated with earlier and more rapidly progressive memory decline. And the frequency of the APOE4 allele dramatically increased to 40% in patients with Alzheimer's disease. Therefore, the results provided of this, the results of this study provide an optimistic outlook as they suggest that although genetic risk is not modifiable, a combination of multiple healthy lifestyle factors are associated with a slower rate of memory decline. And memory, memory is extremely important, as you know, regardless of the genetic risk. In summary, to conclude, these data are extremely encouraging and extremely useful as we already discussed in previous videos and as I illustrated in my books 
they support the importance of improving our lifestyle for the protection against memory loss and dementia. Dementia is a terrible disease with huge physical, psychological, social and economic impacts. Not only for people living with dementia, but maybe most importantly for their carers, families and society at large. And uh, that's all for today. I hope this information can be useful to you. However, uh, I want to remind everybody that the information contained in these and other videos of mine is of general nature and should not be regarded as clinical advice. Before undertaking any new diet or exercise plan, it's important to consult with your doctor, with a good doctor or a specialist to gain professional advice relevant to your own, your own specific clinical condition, health status and situation. This is Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. I'm Professor Luigi Fontana the Scientific Director of the Charles Perkins Center Royal Prince Alfred Clinic and of the Longevity Program of the University of Sydney and a clinical academic in the Department of Endocrinology of the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney, Australia.